Technology and Livelihood Education, Information and Communication Technology. Our topic is Digital Citizenship and Its Elements. Diving into TLE, it's your turn. Technology livelihood, education so bright. Come on, let's make it fun. Everything feels right. TLE, we're on a roll. Lifelong learning is our goal. ICT and electricity, we're crafting futures, can't you see? The following are the objectives of today's lesson. Review of the previous lesson. What are the benefits of using ICT in online marketing, and how can these help businesses choose to go digital? Using ICT in online marketing helps businesses reach more people, save money, and promote products faster. It allows easy communication with customers, quick feedback, and better targeting of ads. These benefits encourage businesses to go digital because it is more effective, efficient, and helps them grow in today's market. What problems might stop a business from using ICT in online marketing, and how do these problems affect their decisions? Some problems that might stop a business from using ICT in online marketing include lack of internet access, low budget, or not knowing how to use digital tools. These problems can make it hard for businesses to reach customers and grow online. Which ICT tool do you think is most effective for online marketing, social media, websites, or email, and why? I think social media is the most effective ICT tool for online marketing because it reaches many people quickly, allows easy sharing, and helps businesses connect directly with customers. It's also free or low cost, making it great for small businesses to grow. Your friend posts a funny photo of another friend without permission. What would you do? A. Repost it. B. Ignore it. C. Report it to your friend. D. Make a funny comment. E. Talk to your friend who posted it. Your classmate is spreading rumors in social media. What would you do? A. Repost it. B. Ignore it. C. Report it to your teacher. D. Make a funny comment. E. Talk to your classmate who posted it. You receive a message from a stranger asking personal information. What would you do? A. Answer them honestly and give the information. B. Ignore it. C. Report it to your teacher or parents. D. Post the received messages online. E. Block the stranger. Why did you choose that answer? What could happen if someone made a different choice? Every click, post, or messages online reflects who we are. Today, we'll learn how to be safe, responsible, and respectful online by exploring the topic of digital citizenship. We will explore what it really means to be a responsible digital citizen. We'll talk about how our digital footprints affect our identity, and how current events show the real-world impact of our online choices. You'll be able to understand, reflect, and make smart choices about how you behave in digital space. Our topic is Digital Citizenship and Its Elements what is digital citizenship? Digital citizenship is the practice of using technology in a safe, respectful, and responsible way. It involves understanding how our actions online affect ourselves and others. Being a good digital citizen means knowing how to protect privacy, communicate kindly, 
and make smart choices while using the internet. The importance of digital citizenship. Digital citizenship is important because it helps people use technology in a safe, respectful, and responsible way. It guides us to make smart choices, use reliable information, and build a positive online reputation that can affect our future in school or work. When we understand how to behave online, we can protect ourselves from dangers like scams, cyberbullying, and harmful content. It also teaches us to treat others kindly in digital spaces, helping to create a more positive and supportive online community. In a world where we spend so much time online, digital citizenship is a skill everyone needs. The six P's of digital citizenship. 1. Password. Keep your password strong and private. 2. Privacy. Protect your personal information online. 3. Photograph. Think before sharing images, respect others' privacy. 4. Profile. Create an honest, respectful digital identity. 5. Permission. Always ask before using or sharing others' work or information. 6. Protection. Be safe from cyberbullying, scams, and harmful content. The following are the key elements of digital citizenship. 1. Digital etiquette. Respectful and appropriate behavior online. 2. Digital communication. Responsible use of digital tools to communicate. 3. Digital literacy. Understanding how to use technology effectively and critically. 4. Digital rights and responsibilities. Knowing your rights online and respecting others. 5. Digital safety and security. Protecting personal information and using secure practices. 6. Digital law. Understanding legal rights and restrictions online. 7. Digital health and wellness. Managing screen time and maintaining well-being. 8. Digital access. Promoting equal access to digital tools and resources. 9. Digital commerce. Using technology responsibly when buying or selling online. Activity 2. Think. Pair and share. Activity title, Who Are You Online? A Digital Reflection. Directions, Think. Take a few quiet minutes to reflect and write your answers to the following questions on paper. 1. What do people see when they search for you online, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram? 2. How would you describe yourself as a digital citizen, pair? Turn to a classmate and share your answers. Listen respectfully and find something you both have in common or something that surprised you, share. Volunteers will share insights or interesting points from their discussion. What are your takeaways from digital citizenship topic? Digital citizenship means using technology and the internet in a safe, respectful, and responsible way. It's about protecting your privacy, treating others kindly online, and thinking before you click, post, or share. Understanding the six P's, one password, privacy, photograph, profile, permission, and protection will guide us students to build a strong and positive digital identity. By learning the key elements like digital etiquette, communication, literacy, rights, safety, and digital law, we become smart and respectful online users. Being a good digital citizen helps us stay safe, support others, and use technology for learning, creating, and connecting in meaningful ways. If someone in your class posts something online that breaks one of the six P's of digital citizenship, like sharing a photo without permission, how would you handle the situation? in a way that shows you're a responsible digital citizen? Why is your response important? If someone in my class posts a photo of someone else without permission, I would talk to them privately and explain why it's important to respect others' privacy. I might also remind them about the six Ps, especially permission and photograph. If the post is harmful or unsafe, I would report it to a teacher or a trusted adult. A time to remember.
Concept Map on Digital Citizenship Directions Create a concept map with digital citizenship at the center. From there, branch out and include the following Definition Key elements Online best practices What to avoid online Include things you should not do or avoid when using digital tools and social media. Next steps Write down what you need to do next to become a better digital citizen. Goals or improvements This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.